Speaker, now we know what the Prime Minister really thinks about democracy. During the election, he said, and I quote, we will not resort to legislative tricks to avoid scrutiny. Now, without any justification, he has changed the rules to eliminate accountability and take power away from the opposition wow. parties. Instead of a government in opposition, he just wants a government and an audience. Right. How can the Prime Minister justify such a lack of respect for Parliament? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, on the contrary, we have tremendous respect for Parliament. That's why we're proposing to extend sitting hours to allow members of Parliament to contribute thoughtful, uh, responsible interjections on a broad range of topics. We made the commitment to Canadians that we'd, we would make this government work for them, that we would put forward the kinds of issues that mattered to them, that they voted for in the election, and that's exactly what we are doing. We are putting forward an agenda that they have asked us to deliver on, and we are inviting uh, all members in this House uh, to speak at length. Uh, and share their perspectives on all the legislation. Mr. Speaker, even the Conservatives on their worst days never tried to stifle democracy the way the Liberals are doing it today. <laughs> and on the very important issue of physician-assisted dying, after Liberal shut down debate, the Alberta Court of Appeal has now declared that the government is contradicting the Supreme Court's ruling. This is exactly as most experts had predicted. With this new court ruling, will the Prime Minister either refer this bill to the Supreme Court or make the necessary changes to make it constitutional? Honourable Prime Minister. First off, Mr. Speaker, it, it, it amazes me that the member opposite could think that offering more opportunities for the members opposite to weigh in and to give speeches in this House would somehow count as limiting democracy. And secondly, on the issue of, physician, of uh, medical assistance in dying, we understand that this is a big step for Canada. We are creating a, a, a responsible regime uh, that will allow us to move forward in a thoughtful way that defends Canadians' rights and freedoms while protecting the most vulnerable. That's what Canadians expect us to do. That's exactly what we are doing. 